Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, and uh, of course we're going to do another fragrance review today. So I'm um, going to do a fragrance today, a review on it. It's from the 90s, and it's from a particular house that I, I really, really like, um, the house of Jacques Bogart. So I'm not sure if any of you guys have had any experience with this house or not, but they're, it's incredible. They have so many fragrances. One, their price range is awesome and their performance compared to their price range is incredible. So Jacques Bogart, um, famous for One Man Show um, and multiple other ones as well. Uh, Bogart Poor Home, which I have, which is amazing. Um, obviously One Man Show, the whole line, you know, Gold Edition, Ruby Edition, Oud Edition. The original's still the best though. And, um, you know, again, not expensive at all. And their performance and projection is legendary. It's insane. It, it's so strong. Um, and I wanted to do a little bit of a lesser known fragrance from that house. Um, that house also gets a lot of negative you know, uh, feedback sometimes and I don't understand why. I think that they create awesome fragrances and the fact that they smell and perform so nice for what you pay for them is what I really like about them the best. And you know, again, the fragrances um, smell awesome and their presentation is great too. So this particular fragrance actually is discontinued. So if you can find it, get it. It's awesome. I love it. Um, I'm going to talk about it again, the presentation, the, the notes, the performance, and my thoughts on it, and the overall rating. But um, I figured out this one, uh, I've only seen it reviewed one other time, and it was by a fragrance Matt, I think he's a gentleman out of the UK. And he reviewed it. He actually likes a lot of Jacques Bogart uh, fragrances from what I've seen in his channel. So, um, and I'm going to reviewing some more of them soon. I've done One Man Show and One Man Show Gold Edition, but I'm going to do this one today. And this one is perfect for the weather that we're having in South Jersey. Is Eau Fresh by Jacques Bogart. Again, so we'll take a look at the box and bottle presentation. So the box is this like really mint green and it's got this like a uh, pattern here like almost you know like a ribbed or you know elevated box um eau fresh at the top with a darker green and it goes all the way around onto the back on the back you have some you know just brand information it is made in france um the same type of pattern here on the sides as well and on the bottom you have serial number barcode batch information um and again white lettering there eau fresh and uh, Jacques Bogart Paris and then a white strip right there. So the box is pretty cool. The bottle, it's almost like it's, or the box, excuse me, is almost like it's made to look like the bottle as many. It reminds me of a Sung Om as well. That box and bottle look very similar too. So box opens up here. And the cool thing about this bottle is it's like many Jacques Bogarts, is the sprayers built in. So again, really lime mint looking green color here. Um, you have what looks like the pattern, which reminds me of that on the box there right in the middle. Um, you know, the sprayers built into it. It says Eau Fresh there, and it is uh, Eau de Toilette Jacques Bogart. On the bottom, actually, it's stamped in there in the glass. So the glass is raised there, which is quality, high quality bottle, um, pretty strong glass. Um, the sprayer cap looks pretty cool too, and it's got a nice distribution on it as well. Some like looks like almost like watermarks there on, on the uh, cap, which I can see, but I think that it came that way. Um, this is a 50 ml bottle, um, so 1.7 ounces, and it's got the Bogart B right there in the center. I don't know if you can see, uh, forgive the camera angle, but yeah, you can see it's there, and that's also um, embossed into the glass too. So distribution, not bad. Pretty, pretty nice spray. I'm going to spray some on my arm here. Let that kind of fill the, fill the air. Um, it's an aromatic, fresh green scent. I would say that's what I would classify it as. Um, so when I was reading about the notes, a lot of notes, I actually had to write them down. So bear with me here. The top, we have green galbanum. <laughs> try to say that three times. Star anise, tarragon, lemon, mandarin, grapefruit, and pineapple. The heart of the fragrance, lavender, uh, lavender rosemary, geranium, coriander, jasmine, lily of the valley, and nutmeg. And then the base, you have vetiver, patchouli, oak moss, and pine needles. I get a citrus, almost musky, fresh, definitely piney, almost like a barbershop scent. Like this reminds me of Tuscany, um, I believe by Aramis and Aqua de Parma combined. Like slight citrus from Aqua de Parma Colonia and the kind of warm leather spiciness of, uh, of Aramis, um, Tuscany, which I think smells great. This is um, a really fresh scent. Um, I think it smells awesome and I really like the presentation. Performance-wise, though, 
falls a little short, which is surprising because it's a Jacques Bogart. And, uh, you know, I don't get the nuclear projection that I get uh, with my other Bogart fragrances with this fragrance. I would say it only really lasts about five hours, which is pretty poor for a Jacques Bogart fragrance. Um, it smells amazing, though, so I really like it. And it really is surprising that it doesn't perform, you know, as well as the other ones do. Projection is, it's not a beast mode projection either. You know, the first two hours, I think you'll be able to give off the scent. People will notice it. And then after that, it's going to sit closer to the skin. Um, but it's one that you can reapply. I just know that it's unfortunately discontinued. So I don't want to utilize it too, too much and over apply it and go through the bottle really quickly. Um, as I really like to enjoy this fragrance. It has that old school classic type of, um, Barbershare, Fougere type of uh, uh, scent and vibe to it. And it, it really is something that I'm really happy I got. I think this would probably appeal to maybe the 30 plus range. Um, you know, in terms of a fragrance, you have to be into that type of scent to maybe really, really love this one. Um, otherwise, you might pass it by. But uh, my thoughts again on this one really, really, really awesome scent. It's got. Um, you know, the, the citrus and, you know, you can smell the leather in there too. The dry down is amazing. It's just really a fresh, fresh fragrance. I would say best for the warmer months. I don't know if it would perform that well in the cold. It might just go away quickly. But, um, you know, I would say sprays on this. You could do three or four sprays. Um, that, that should be good and it should maybe last you if you want it to last some a little longer. You know, you can apply it on your clothing. Um, but it definitely has the Fougere Barbershop vibe to it a lot. I really like it. it. It reminds me of a lot of fragrances that I already really enjoy and um, it definitely has that classic feel to it. Uh, so 1993, again, is when this one came out. But I think it's got that 80s vibe to it as well. Um, you know, I really like it. I would say, again, this is like a, a combination of a, a couple other fragrances, but it's definitely very fresh, hence the name. And it smells like you're fresh out of the barbershop, fresh out of a clean shower, great, great, you know, masculine scent, but a very masculine scent for sure. So um, I would say overall rating on this fragrance, if we're going to go through each one, we'll do presentation, 10 out of 10. I love it. I love the bottle. I love the box. I like the feel. Definitely could see this on any bathroom countertop, any barbershop. Um, counter as well. This is a great bottle. It looks really cool and I like the built-in sprayer. Gives it that classic vibe. Performance falls short, unfortunately, so I'd have to give it like a 6 out of 10 there because uh, normally your Jacques Bogart fragrances, you can smell them the next day. Uh, this one, yeah, I only got 5 hours, so it kind of uh, unfortunately disappointing there. But the smell, um, it's not super, super unique. So it loses a little bit of points there, but I really like the category that I think it falls into, that I put it into in my opinion, of course. So I really like it a lot. I love the fresh green pine. I love those old classic. It reminds me of some of the Italian barbershop scents, like your Aqua de Parma or your Pinot. Um, so the smell is amazing. I would have to give it, you know, I would say a, a seven out of 10. Uh, so overall rating seven out of 10, you know, across the, the three channels there for presentation, performance, and then the smell. This is such a fresh fragrance. If you can get your hands on it, by all means do so. Um, I got mine online and um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried Eau Fresh by Jacques Bogart or prefer another Jacques Bogart fragrance. I'd like to know what you guys think. So make sure to comment um, and you know, let me know how you like the video. So also uh, subscribe as well too. But Eau Fresh by Jacques Bogart, I'd say pick it up. You can't go wrong. It smells really good. Um, again, if you like that type of fragrance, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.